Hey and welcome back. Now that we have our auth layout, let's focus on building out our login component. So I will return back into VS Code. Before we get started, I want to make a minor tweak and that's in my paragraph tag. Currently it is text transform uppercase, but I think it will look better if it was just capitalized. So I'm going to make that quick change and give it a save. Next, I'm going to highlight my left window and open my login component over there. Close out the auth layout.js and then on my right window, I'm going to open the login SAS file and then close out my auth layout SAS file. All right, cool. Now for the structure of the login component, I actually want this to be a form instead of a div. Next, I'm going to remove the paragraph tag. Then I'm going to create a div with a class name of login underscore btn inside there i want two buttons the first one will say login and the second one will say sign in with google give that a quick save next i want to work on the input fields so i'm going to open my vs code sidebar i'm actually going to make a component because we're going to use that input in various places so inside component i'm going to make a new folder call it input and then inside input, I'm going to make two new files. The first being input.js. And then the second one will be input.scss. Close my sidebar, drag my SAS file over to the right side. First thing I want to do is import the variables. Semicolon. And then I'm going to apply some placeholder style background will be pink give that a quick save navigate to my input js file and then define my component as input i want a div with a class name of input inside that i'm gonna have a label i'm gonna get rid of html4 and then inside label i want another div tag with a class name of input icon next we're gonna have the input itself followed by a span tag inside the span tag i'm going to say email give it a quick save navigate to my login component i'm going to import that input component so import input and then i'll put it here inside the form on top of the div tag i'm going to say input and it's going to be a self-closing tag give it a quick save check it out on my front end and currently this is what my form looks like Let's go back to VS Code. I'm going to navigate to my input component. The first thing I want to do is import the style. So import input.css. Give that a quick save. Navigate to my SAS file. I'm going to remove the background of pink and give a margin of 1.5 EM top and bottom and zero left and right. Next, I want to target the label. Give it a position of relative and a font size of one rem. Now I want to target the input itself. I'm going to give it a box shadow of zero, five pixel, 15 pixel, and RGBA color of zero, 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 and an alpha level of 0.35. The background color will be purple light. Padding is going to be one EM. I'm going to give it a border radius of 5 pixel. The width will be 370 pixel. I'm going to set the outline to be none. The font size will be 1 rem. And then a border of 2 pixel solid transparent. Now I want to target the span tag. Give it a position of absolute. Top is going to be 50%. Left is going to be 12 pixel. I'm going to transform translate it. Zero and then negative 50%. I want it to be centered inside the input. Next, I want the text color to be purple light. I'm going to give it a transition of all 0.3 second ease. The font weight is going to be 300 and the font size will be 0.85 rem. 
give that a quick save and check out my front end it looks a little bit better now let's continue styling it now let's go back to vs code and i made a mistake in the span tag instead of purple light i actually want it to be purple lighter all right give that a quick save so now i want to work on the input focus so when we focus on the input i want it to have a border of two pixels solid pink i also want the span text to move up when it is in focus so i will say input focus plus span i'm going to say top negative 15 pixel the font size will be 10 pixel the background color is going to be linear gradient it's going to be to right the first color is going to be yellow and then the second color is going to be pink next i'm going to set the border radius to be four pixel padding of top and bottom zero and then five pixel left and right the text color is going to be white give that a quick save and before i check out my front end i want to navigate to the login sas file and actually gonna comment this part out give that a quick save and then check out my front end so now when i focus on the input you can see there's an animation right there but if i type something and unfocus you can see my span tag that act as my label is overlapping the text so let's fix that right now go back to vs code and then into the input sas file below my span tag i'm going to say input colon not parenthesis colon placeholder shown i'm going to target the span tag and give it a color of transparent i also want to apply some animation so i'm going to say transform translate 3d i'm going to say zero negative six pixel zero i also want to scale it down to uh, 0.75 while i'm in here i also want to target the input icon i'm going to give it a color of purple dark The position is going to be absolute top 50 percent left is going to be zero i also want to transform translate it to 92 percent and then negative 50 percent my width is going to be 100 percent i'm gonna scroll up a little bit and the cursor is going to be pointer give that a quick save there's still a little trick that we have to do first so I'm going to navigate to my input component and then add a placeholder attribute. And I'm going to give it a blank space. So ambassand nbsp simon colon and give that a quick save. Check out my front end. Give it a hard reload. Focus on my input. Type something. And it looks like everything is working right. Now I'm going to navigate back to my VS code. I want to talk about the input a little bit so each input is going to be different for an example we might have a name input an email input or a password input so our input has to be dynamic so in order to do that i'm going to pass everything down as prop i'm going to use bracket and put icon pass it as prop as icon next our icon going to have the function of on click i'm going to set that equal to handle click and then pass that as prop this feature allows the user to toggle the visibility of the password next i'm going to say type is going to be type name is also going to be name on change it's going to be handle change this will help us to target each input and guess it values and then default value will be default value next i'm also going to say disabled it's going to be equal to disabled now i'm going to pass it in as prop the first was type and then name and then handle change default value 
disabled give it a quick save scroll down i'm going to remove email and then say bracket and then say text inside and also pass that as prop and say text now give it a second save there's one more attribute that i want to add inside the input and that is autocomplete i want to turn that off now give it a quick save next i want to navigate to my login component in the input component i want to say the type is equal to email the text is going to be email next i want to duplicate this line my type will be password and then my text will be password give that a quick save and check out my front end all right looking nice let's go back to vs code next i want to style the button so i will close the input sas file and then work on this file i'm going to remove this line and then target the login button i'm going to give it a displace of flex and the flex direction is going to be column next i'm going to target the button itself give it a margin of top and bottom 1m and zero of left and right the padding is going to be 1.2m i'm going to give it a border radius of 5 pixel and then set the border to be none my width is going to be 370 pixel i'm going to give it a text transform of uppercase a box shadow of 0 5 pixel 15 pixel rgba of 0 0 0 and the alpha level is going to be 0.35 the text color is going to be white my cursor is going to be a pointer i want the outline to be none my background is going to be a linear gradient to right my first color again is going to be yellow and then pink give that a quick save and check out my front end all right it's looking nice but we're not done yet let's work on the hover effect i'm gonna go back to vs code i'm gonna say button colon hover so first thing i want to give it a transition of all 0.3 second ease the box shadow is going to be none and then i'm going to set my background color to also be a linear gradient but this time it's going to be to left instead of right and once again the color is going to be yellow and then pink give that a quick save and check out my front end i'm going to hover over the button all right let's go back to vs code next i want the google sign in button to be a little bit different so i'm going to give it a class name of btn dash out give it a quick save go back to my sas file and then target that button i'm going to give it a background of linear gradient Is going to be two left yellow and then pink i also want to set the hover state the transition will be all 0.3 second ease box shadow will be none my background will be linear gradient and it's going to be two right yellow and then pink give that a quick save and navigate to my front end it give a slight difference all right let's go back to vs code next i want to work on the input icon so we're going to use a package for that uh, let's open up a terminal cd into the client folder and the package I want to add is react icons. Press enter and let that run. 
All right, I'm gonna close my terminal. So the official website for that package is here. And then if I wanna search for the icon, I just search it here. So the first icon I wanna search for is Google. And it will be this one. Click it and it will copy in my clipboard. Navigate back to my VS code. I'm going to import that in. From react icons and we have to put a slash of the first two letters of the icon now inside my google button i'm going to delete google and then add that icon it's a self-closing tag give that a quick save and check out my front end as you can see the icon is right here but it's not lined up so let's fix that i'm gonna jump back to vs code go into the sas file locate my button and then inside the button, I'm going to say display flex. I'm going to justify content center it. Also align item center. Next, I want to target the icon itself. And give it a font size of 1.1 rem and a margin left of 10 pixel. Give that a quick save and double check my front end. As you can see, it is a little bit bigger and everything is aligned. All right, the next icon I want to search for is visibility. And I want both of these. So I'm going to get this first one. Go back to VS Code. Import that in. From React Icons. And the first two letter is MD. Let's go back to the website and get this one. Back to VS Code, import that in. From React Icons again. This will wrap up the lesson because again, kind of long. In our next lesson, we're going to work on the logic of the icon and also our register and forgot component. See you then.